Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to be thinking out loud as I browse the women's fall winter new collection on the LV website. Let's go. So you might learn a thing or two about me, about um, my style perspective, um, and let's go. Okay. So I got this monogram canvas bag. Yeah, I'm very pretty, pretty particular about um, what I like from LB, especially to do with their monogram pieces. Um, this feels cheap. Like, you know, there's just things all over the place and it looks like a kid could have put it together. Uh, I find that with the brown monogram look, the brown monogram is better as a background uh, element rather than a foreground element. So when people paint over the, the brown um, monogram canvas, it's a nice backdrop. So, yeah, nah. Yeah. What is going on with this? David Sims flower jacquard sweater. I like the sweater. I like the flower pattern. And then if anyone knows who David Sims is, okay, they might be able to appreciate uh, this person in the foreground, but otherwise not sure what's going on here. Ooh, <laughs> shorts, matching shorts. I don't mind it. Oh, what are they? Loafers with open toe? <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do, Ravi. So the, the jumper's nice, the shorts nice, the colors all work together well, the pattern's nice from afar. But yeah, you need to be a fan of David Sims, I think. Blueage silk chiffon midi skirt. Whoa, it's a pretty penny. I think the spirit of it is nice, especially if you're moving uh, around. But otherwise, you know, this the 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 white and then the yellow panel reminds you of kind of the circusy look. Um, and then silk chiffon that's going to be, you're going to have to be very careful where you sit. Uh, it's bound to wrinkle. And then it's going to be fun trying to clean this also. I'm going to pass. I like the spirit of it, but I don't think you need to go LV to buy this, this kind of skirt. <laughs> Okay, so we got round Harry Potterish glasses. They look the oh the frames around the glasses look like I have some depth, which is interesting. Uh hey, is it acrylic? No. Maybe the base is acrylic, but it looks doesn't look transparent. Oh, I like the flower at the tip. Uh, at the end of the frame. Otherwise, yeah, it's got the monogram feeling. I've been trying on random sunglasses and there's only a particular kind of shape that kind of works for me. <laughs> Not that you necessarily are interested in that. So um, I like the spirit of it, but yeah, personally not a fan. Uh, oh, wow, this boot. So I'm, I'm staring at it because I'm, I'm analysing. Uh, I am very impressed. So overall, this is great. Where is the zip? Okay, well, so why I'm impressed is that it appears to be one entire piece of leather with a back seam. I, I don't know, the inseam, okay. That means the zip is at the back. So if you look where the heel and the boot connect, so there's no seam there. So this whole front piece and the side is one big piece of leather and that is always, to me, very, very impressive how they mold it into shape. So there must be a, a hidden zip somewhere or it's just a wide look. See the model. 
Yeah, it's not necessarily a fitted look. So there may not even be a zip. So it's got the pull tab at the back to help you get it on with the monogram uh, flower on the back, which is a nice touch. And the colour's decent. I'm not, oh, not a big fan of browns and tans, but I'm very impressed by this boot. <laughs> Block heel, arm and toe. Yeah, I like the subtle colour variation. This is actually well put together. So kudos, props, props to whoever designed this. Whoa. Okay, cosmic cloud. Yeah, there's this whole thing about the LV perfumes. I haven't really smelt them or tried them in store. The bottle is distinct. Although um, I don't know if it's the best. I mean, I think it's received some random awards for best looking bottle, but it's okay. Not super fantastic. Okay, so we kind of got this grandma vibe happening with this speedy bag. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of the colors, but I mean, for what it is, it's okay. The leather colour works well with the overall colour theme, colourway. I think the flowers are okay on its own, but on that coloured background, not a fan. Um, and this is what I was talking about before, where if you have a statement element and you have the LV pattern in the background, it looks much nicer. Um, I like the concept, so I think whoever buys this, they just got to like how all the colours play together. Okay, so reversible vintage flower jacquard coat. <gasps> so it's got the flower theme happening on the inside for the lining. Um, it's kind of like a wool finish. Uh, not fitted. Mm, that's that's decently styled. Props, kudos. I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. Okay. So what's it look like on the inside? It says reversible. Why didn't you show us the reverse side, silly? It's pretty funky. Funky for a loose fitted jacket, I think. Mm. Okay, pass on monogram knit top. I'm usually not a fan of just plastering the logo all over the jumper or the shirt, but in this case, like, it's it's saying something other than look at me, I'm LV. Like, the, there's a different colour variation and then how it blends together and creates this pattern. It's got its own story and it's it becomes a bit more understated. It isn't just the logo screaming at you. Uh, so I can, I can appreciate that. Uh, that's unexpected. And I think that the pastels on the white make it a bit more subtle. So it's obvious but subtle and, like, that, that's usually a good balance <laughs> if you can spot it. Okay, what have we got here? Um, looks like an earring. So interesting. It's sold by one unit and I think the idea is you, know, you buy another one or you mix and match it with different kind of shapes. With, in, with your earrings, which is cool, but also sort of annoying. Uh, and I'm not a fan of this shape, but I can appreciate that it's not so obvious that it's LV. It just looks like two triangle things. Uh, okay, so we got this sneaker. Uh, so it's got that kind of pastel floral pattern within the LV monogram flowers and logo. It's not bad. I'm surprised I don't hate it. And I think what's going on is like, you know, it's not just screaming LV. It's like, okay, yes, it's LV, but there's also, it's also saying something else with the floral pattern. You know, there's more dimension and depth to um, the whole design. So 
I don't mind it. I'm not sure about mixing the colourful logo and motifs with the monogram at the back, but it is a signature thing, so I'll let it pass. Wouldn't wear it, but wouldn't. I wouldn't go, what the hell were you thinking if I saw you wear it? <laughs> okay, so we've got a petite mal V. So I nice saw someone talk about this. So it looks like the petite mal from the side, but there's kind of like this uh, soft leather um, base at the bottom. So it becomes... It's like a bag in the middle, but a hard case on the two sides. It feels a bit off to me. There's an imbalance, a uh, lopsidedness to it. Um, hmm. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I can appreciate the, the micro suitcase bags, like the mini trunks, like this, um wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind having um Nelvi trunk, but in a small size with the handle on top. Um, and the, the trunks are cool, like you know, because of the the whole heritage and everything. But to have it as a mini and micro bag, I think that's so cute. It's just like a shrunk trunk. <laughs> um. Which is like the petite, petite valley. Um, okay, got this gold tweed peplum top. It is pretty funky. I'm wondering how the sides will fall because it's not attached to the back. I'm guessing the peplum is kind of structured. I can appreciate this. There's some funky LV designs, uh, especially in there, ready to wear that is impressive hmm. okay what have we got slouchy okay so that's what the skirt looks like look at he's on a mannequin i think the gold top there it's on a mannequin it's on a mannequin sorry not a model uh okay so we can imagine here so this is going to be a softer fluid more uh fluid fabric compared to the peplum tweed top but that's how it would drape on the model so the sides act as pockets oh, it's like a um, invisible cargo pocket <laughs> and I'm not a fan of cargo pockets like obvious cargo pockets but I can appreciate this so you can hide like little lollies <laughs> in these pockets pretty cool pretty cool i like it uh, okay so we've got this shirt with an inbuilt scarf color i like the idea oh here's a look at that bag actually if you go back to the that's this bag scroll across you can do that so the side looks fine and they've added the handle. Ah, so it, <laughs> it becomes way more functional than the usual petite mal because it's quite thin. Um, it's not very deep. So once you open it, you can expand it. But the thing is when you close it, you can't store much. So, and it's, okay, the handle's on one side. It's not balanced. Um, so you couldn't really hold it open either. That's the back. Hmm. Okay, so now this model's wearing it and that's what it looks like. It's got the A-frame shape and it just looks awkward. It feels like even though they've got the leather patches on the side, it almost, it feels insecure. It, it, I think, yeah, it does not work. Anyways, let's go back to the shirt. So masculine shirt, utilitarian patch pockets at the front. I like the idea that you can integrate the scarf into the collar, but I don't like how it's held together um, by these just two white slots. I feel like that's a bit sloppy. What else have we got? Okay. Open back sneakers. Uh, this is 
I gotta say, it's it's comical to me that it's the epitome of laziness because you got the sneaker look, obviously, but you didn't tie it up, and it's just you. It's like what is it? Um, you couldn't be bothered putting on your shoes properly, and you wouldn't just get normal slides. So you get your sneaker, and then you you put your foot in, and you squash the back down, and so they just remove the back, right? And I get it, but it's also like, what the hell? Come on. <laughs> but overall, um, I like <laughs> this is interesting. I think this it, it, I don't mind how the colors and the um, pattern is all put together. So it works for what it is. Yeah, like the, the different browns and the white and black. It, it actually works together. And it's actually okay also from a design perspective that the, the top of the back is not there. So it's actually quite balanced. Um, oh, it reminds me of like a bowling shoe. So it's cool, but I don't like the deception of, oh, from the front it looks like you're wearing sneakers, but you're not because you're lazy. <laughs> okay, another flower bottle, same same top. Uh, it's like an abstract flower, isn't it? Okay, we've got the Kusan bag, BB. Oh, God, what's going on with this chain? Hey, what happened? I didn't click anything. Okay. So, it's very Christmassy, I guess, with the green. And the red. I don't mind this as a small bag, smaller than the BB size. But other than that, I'm not a fan how they've like sewn two separate pouches and then sewn it together. Like there's no mystery when they do that. It's like a deconstructed bag. Um, but yeah, not a fan of the green chain on the red. Stars. Okay, so we've got this pearly button boxy knit jacket. It's, I don't know if Chanel invented this box jacket. Maybe she kind of did. And this is, this is definitely inspired by her. Um, I don't mind it. It's different, but also classic. Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, we've got this LV bouquet tie. Yeah, it's got that vintage look. It's like a modernized vintage look. Is that what people are going for these days? Or are they setting the trend? Okay, we've got this card holder. I like the spirit. I don't like the color. Uh, I'm I'm a fan of kind of clearer, more obvious uh, colors. You know, classic tones plus vibrant colors. So the background once again is not doing it for me. We've got a necklace. I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, that top is funky. It's happy. Happy of me. Um, I mean, it's styled well. <laughs> if you like that chunky chain look, um, yeah, I like it on the green. It's okay. Okay, I've got another petite mouth V. I don't know why it's called a V. V, unless it means five, but it's like an upside down V. It should be called the petite mouth A. All right, so we've got another croissant bag and then, okay, so the monogram is now colourful. I wonder what this looks like in person. It never looks like it in the photo, but I like it. I like the subtle colours within it. It's cool. It's like the idea is cool, not the actual bag. <laughs> I don't know if there's a bottom to this page, so... I'll go through a few more rows of items and then we'll call it a day. Let me know what you think of these items. Can you get where I'm coming from when I say this stuff? 
Um, are you learning anything? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got a colorful monogram. Yeah, I like I like the story with the colorful monogram once again. Um, and then with the scarf, it has a vintage feel. And you can wear it without the scarf. We got the flares coming back, do we? Yes, I have seen flares around. Um, it's got a sailor look too. I don't know. I feel like this the band that's holding the scarf in place could have been better somehow. Maybe like add a twist to it. Um, yeah, or not just like a straight band or make it more understated. Got this tie. Uh, I think it's got micro LVs in it. <laughs> okay, so we've got a vintage colorful monogram jersey top, like a t shirt. So it's like a fun, casual LV. Uh, okay, so we've got the open back sneaker again. This is a little bit more in line with the vintage feel with the softer pastel. Uh, colors then we've got the colorful uh monogram on the white croissant mm. so i guess with the white background the the colors in the monogram uh are more subtle but they stand out more against the black because there's a higher contrast on the black okay loop bag yes it does look like a loop whoa look at her outfit Trying to see this bag clearly. You know what? I don't mind the color in the pattern, the foreground and the background. I'm not a fan of the shape of this bag. And how do you rest it down? Like it's like it'll be like a rocking chair if you try and place it upright. You probably have to lay it down um when you use it but yes very loopy hmm. with the yeah so i like the colors i like the, the pattern and then having the leather finishes in the tan color makes it feel vintagey if you, I don't know if you want to go that far. Yeah, more modern pieces. Okay, so we've got the LV necklace. Um, okay, the boucle wool peplum top. Ah, that's what it looks like on the model. So it looks like exaggerated hips. The back. It's funky. There's a story to it, you know. You gotta have stuff with more depth and dimension sometimes. Otherwise, it's boring. But yeah, like it's okay as a concept. Black is a good staple color. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh. I'm ooing about the handle. So I am a fan of the cup of scene bag. Um I don't mind the brown color. Uh, I'm not sure about the green with the brown. The green logo um, on its own is fine. The handle looks like um, so it's hardware and it is a, oh, it's a chain. It's a chain. And I, don't, I wonder if it's blingy. And it's hmm. It's cool that they're mixing up the handles. It does make the pieces more unique. But the combo all together, I'm not sure the green works well with it. <laughs> okay, so we got this uh, kind of this belt. I feel like it's 70s inspired. What's going on? I didn't click anything. <laughs> okay. Here. 
What are you doing, website? What are you doing? Okay, so the belt is reversible, which is useful. Oh, come on. Do something. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like the inside of it is not covered in logos, which is nice. You can tone it down. Oh, yeah, it's definitely got a vintagey feel. Oh, we got the Donna High Boot in red. Wow. That's awesome. That, that's cool. Uh, not a fan of the Dolphin bag. Not sure if that's how you say it. I'm not, sh I'm not a big fan of it in general. It does have an old school vibe. I actually don't mind it if it's all in black because I guess the design elements are become a blur. Um, but yeah, personally, I'm not a fan of this combo. Okay. What else is down here? All right, I'm going to do two more rows. Okay, so we've got this shirt before with a different scarf. Uh, so this belt is reversible too. I don't mind the center logo. Mm, I'm a fan of the two rounded rectangles on the edge. Ooh, got a bandeau. It's all colorful. Oh, I like the finish on the tip. Uh, looks like it's on a navy background. Okay, different colorway pink and white. Not bad. All right, last line for the video is these shorts kind of navy inspired There's a little tab with i'm guessing the brown lb um tab on the side to make sure people know that you're wearing louis Vuitton. it's okay loose fit might um yeah very navy inspired with a button and i'm guessing they go uh, navy still comfortable probably like a thick oh yeah it's wool it's a thick kind of material and it'll be comfy to wear I like the pur light purple the lilac of this symphony bottle and i'm gonna end with this lv garden square 90s uh, scarf does it look like Okay, that's what it look like. looks like if you had it around your neck. Yeah, I think you can tell that the background pattern is like a garden, <laughs> which is cool. There we go. So it's flowers. It's layers of flowers. Yay. All right. Let me know your thoughts. Um, <laughs> I don't know if people enjoy or even watch these kind of videos, but uh, this is what I'm up to uh, and this is how I think when I look, go window shopping. Um, and I hope it's helped you in some way. Let me know in the comments if it has or even if it hasn't. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.